So, you were the character of Wreck-It Ralph. Could you explain your similarities to the character that you played? Well, I don't weigh 643 <laughs> pounds, but I am a big guy. I've got enormous fists, uh, but I have a gentle heart. And that that is something I think I have a lot in common with Ralph. I think also Ralph uh, is a lot like me because I improvised a lot of the character. I brought a lot of myself to the character and um, I worked with the director and the writers of the film to kind of find the most honest take on the guy that, 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 you know, that matched up with how I felt about a guy who would be in this position. So what is your connection to the video game world? Did you grow up playing games at all? I did, of course, yeah, as a kid played, you know, the arcade games of um, Space Invaders and Pac-Man and Asteroids and all that kind of stuff. I was really the first generation where those things happened, you know, all of those games happened for the first time when I was a kid, so it was a pretty shocking thing to go from pinball to that, but um, yeah, and now it's like the whole world has exploded. I mean, video games have become such a part of our culture that they're almost inescapable, yeah. And Ralph's character was inspirational, just because he was trying to make a better life for himself. How do you, what do you want people to walk away with after seeing his struggle and the route he had to take to achieve it? Well, I think, people, I just want people to have their own personal experience with the film. I don't have any particular agenda about what I, what I would want them to come away from. I would want them to come away from any film that I'm in, having enjoyed themselves and, 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 you know, hopefully seen a little bit of themselves in the film. And I think this one is one that will really provide that. Even for younger people, it's a really fun experience. There's a child character in it, played by Sarah Silverman, uh, Vanellope von Schweetz, who's this hilarious little rabble-rouser girl. And for older audiences, my character is someone who's been slogging away at a job for 30 years and is trying to find more meaning in his life, and I think that's something that a lot of adults will relate to. And after putting, I think it was like three years into it and doing the voiceovers and practicing over and over, how was it just to see it all come together at the end? It was beautiful. It was really beautiful. And I was also, and you know, I'm so focused on the scenes that I'm in in the movie, and I'm in a lot of the movie, but there were a whole bunch of scenes between Jack McBrayer and Jane Lynch that are really, really hilarious that I just lost touch with because, I, you know, I, they weren't showing me those scenes because I wasn't involved in them. But, uh, yeah, that and all the incredible visual detail in this film. There's five different worlds that you move through in this movie, uh, which is almost like five movies in one. Uh, in terms of the amount of visual detail in the different worlds.